Hi, my name's Jared. I'm a drum instructor at Music Compound, and let's go over some drum fills. Just to get the timing down, it's good to practice, you know, at first to practice like straight 16th notes or straight 8th notes and get used to it. So maybe like um, some of the fills I do at the beginning with my students are maybe like 4 E and double one. So playing 16th notes for the last beat of a measure and then crashing on one. You're pretty much, I mean, so much of the music you're doing this nice big crash on one. And so one of the biggest things too is like getting used to doing that and remembering that's beat one when you try to go back to your beat. Because a lot of people will hit the crash on one and then try to start the beat over here again but we're past one. We're now on two, or you know, the and of one. So that bass drum is gone now. <laughs> you don't play it again. <laughs> if you try to start it over there, the snare will be in the wrong spot, and et cetera, et cetera. But um, so just trying to do that, you know, one and two and three and four e and a one. So four e and a one. You can take that same fill and play the same rhythm, but move it around the kit. So four e and a one. Or you could do. Um, we could do... So you can take that same concept. Um, another one that's good is if you do 16th notes for two beats, so... And four and one and two and three and a four e and a one, which fast sounds pretty cool. So, Just like what I talked about before with uh, dynamics are really important. That's one of the things that really brings your fills to life. Um, for example, I can play... And that sounds okay, but if I use dynamics and I maybe don't play every note at the same volume, it could sound a lot better. So we could do... notice there. So dynamics play a huge role and not just you know you don't have to play straight 16th notes you don't have to play straight eighth notes you can mix them up you can try triplets triplets are awesome everybody loves a good triplet um, also people are you know I can only hit the drums in my fill I can't hit the hi-hat or like a little bit of ride or something so I mean you can always do that kind of stuff I really like some uh, like hip-hop guys that put hip or um, hi-hat into a fill so you could do like um, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, dynamics are huge and just experimenting. I, mean, I think it, it, one of the best things with fills is if you just spend some time playing on your own and seeing what you kind of like the sound of. I think that's the best way to just start developing your own fills. So another thing that I really enjoy on fills and just in music in general is what we call linear drumming. So it's largely incorporating like your hands and feet working together where you're not playing two things at the same time. You're actually kind of, let's say you want to play 16th notes. So rather than just playing them between the drums with your hands, you might throw your feet in for part of it. So one example of this would just be, I mean, you could play triplets like this, like. Those are really famous from like John Bonham doing this. So um, it's just foot left, right, or foot right, left. You can do that. So um, you could also just kind of throw it in there like. can just start with one kick like that's a great fill and that's just call it like the boom splat just your kick in between some flames it sounds good 
Um, even finishing up like a... That was just... Kick Tom Tom snare. So linear fills are really cool. Anyway, if you want to learn some of these fills, make sure you go to Music Compound and check out our website, musiccompound.com, and come take a lesson.